Welcome, guys. It's been a while, man. It's been a while, and I just want to say thank you, everyone that's tuned in. If you are tuned in, and if you're a newcomer, um, just sit back, relax. You can watch the previous episodes. You don't really have to watch them to enjoy this one, because every one of these episodes are enjoyable. And I just wanted to say, man, like, last time I did a podcast, the page was not as big as it is right now. So, I believe when I did my last podcast, I was probably under 2,000 or a little bit above 2,000 followers. So, anybody who's tuned in, joining a newcomer, thank you. But without further ado, let's get into this podcast and let's enjoy everyone that tuned, that came and was on this podcast as a guest. So, without further ado, drum roll please. Get into it. Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Nike Talk, the podcast. You guys haven't seen us in a while, and I say us because I have special guests here from all the previous episodes that you guys have watched. And it's going to be a special one because no one has really met each other like face to face. And uh, now, um, since we have the opportunity to just um, come together and finally meet each other, uh, it's going to be a dope experience because you guys are going to actually see us uh, interact and talk, um, show some pieces. So let's just get into it. So we have four guests on this uh, episode today. So let's just go ahead and uh, we'll introduce it. So uh, go ahead, uh, Grant, Three Word Thrifts. Yeah, uh, I'm Grant Staples. Um, I'm Three Word Thrifts. Um, my other, my business partners aren't here right now my brother's making some food and connor's uh he's in santa cruz somewhere but yeah we were thrifts that's us lit, lit. <laughs> nice, nice to virtually meet you yeah nice to meet you oh who's the, oh shit rodman is here let's see what kind of hair is it today no i'm just kidding but we got picks and flips i did too. i did get a haircut oh nice hey. you're gonna steal all these people's girls g <laughs> but <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourself man uh i'm nick brown i run picks and flips and uh my quote-unquote alter ego to ramen rs page from new jersey so we got we got one person from the west coast another from the east coast uh it's, it's getting pretty late huh? i had a long day i was skating all day it's 10 15 a little past my bedtime uh, <laughs> it's only seven o'clock over here, man. So I know. <laughs> and then we got all the way from Australia. Go ahead, uh, Ali. Hey guys. So yeah, um, Instagram handle what comes around underscore vintage. Uh, from the UK, living in Australia, and uh, good to finally meet you guys, kind of face to face, rather than just through the uh, DM. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the what this for sale? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Not pretty much. <laughs> yeah, and then we got all the way from Shy Town. Uh, what to do, Camille, aka John Mayer's uh, apprentice? Uh, what's up, man? Hey, uh, my name is Camille. Also, View Vintage on Instagram. I hope you guys can hear me. Okay, I didn't test mic the. Oh, you're good. That's good. All right, cool. Yeah, from Chicago, um, 24, and I collect a bunch of trash. That's me. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> some good trash. <laughs> yeah. Basically, guys, if you guys know uh, a lot of these people in here, we're all Nike heads, and we all pretty much uh, have similar interests with, uh, with our pages. So um, this is going to be really cool because you're going to be able to see um, – different perspectives on some of the clothes and some of the stuff that you know we sell so like for instance i sell a lot of like jordan stuff camille will sell like a mix of like everything um grant he he just has like some of the rarest t-shirts a big enthusiast ali got everything from accessories i think he's probably like the best person with accessories i would say because you've showed me some crazy ass accessories before. And then Nick over here, 
he's just casually doing his thing with the Rodman RS. He got he, he's he's on the search for any um, Rodman Nikes right now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he he he's a big Nike head too. But let's just get it popping, guys. Like I just want to know, like how have you guys been? Cause like it's been a while since you know I've done I've done a podcast, bro. It's a it was kind of a hiatus from a podcast. Um, I'll start it off, but, uh, yeah, I've been just, you know, thrifting, doing bins all day, basically 7.30 to 4 o'clock every single day, mm-hmm. getting that grind in, looking for estate sales, you know, still buying Nike all nine. That's, that's what I do. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, I've seen, uh, I've seen you've been getting some rare-ass shirts, man. It's fucking insane. Uh, yeah, you know. I'm going to pull your page up, put it on, put it on the spot right now. Oh shit, Grant, is that um? Because I'll, I'll, I'll uh, once this is done, I'll uh, I'll tap you up as well. Because I want to just uh, that Honolulu um seventy six. I've got one as well. Is that a recent get? No, I've actually had this one for I'd probably say about like more than a year now. Um, I'm still trying to get all the other Honolulus. I have this one, and I have the eighty one. Um, I have an eighty three one. I know someone that has like every single one that I've been trying to get, like the 78, 77. Yeah. He, he has them all. This guy, I'm still trying to get into his collection, but he's like a. He's not in Malaysia, guy. is he? No, no. He's a SF. He lives in. Um, his name is Afterlife Boutique. Really great guy. He, like, he gets some crazy stuff. Like, great guy. Cool. I'll tap you up after this is finished because I just want to, like, as you know, we all are just that, like, in the back of your head, just because of where I pick mine up, just to double check on the yeah. on the kind of features of it. So I'll tap you up to send me some pics over because it's, yeah, it's literally one of my favorite tees, man. Actually, it's the fav- my favorite tee of my running collection. It's so good. Yeah, they're beautiful shirts, you know, the aesthetic of them really appeals yeah. to me. Grant, where are, you, where are you from again? Um, I'm from Sacramento. Uh, California. Nice. So yeah, I, I go out here bin all the time. You you do bins every day, full well, day. Yeah. Well, school started for last school well, this Monday, so it's kind of been hard for me to bin. Where do you go to school? I go to Sac State, Sacramento State. So. What year are you? Um, I'll be a junior this year. So. Nice. Get that grind in. Get it yeah, done. Get it, bro. Finish school. Thanks. And then sell rags. What are you majoring in? Uh, business. Yeah, I want to be a real estate agent. Nice. So. Oh, you're gonna flip to. Oh man, that's a UK one as well. Yeah, yeah, that's the, the, the Ralph Steadman one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Was that a bin find? No, no. Most of my Nike stuff is either. It's most of the time it's online or I know someone that has it, um, locally. Like one of, like my recent pickups. I won't say recent, but someone from Sack Bins pulled this one. Oh, I love that one. I know, I know. You had the one. I was trying to get that one too, but I was like, you know what? I'll let him have it. Which one again? Show it again. The Fuji Film Nike. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't even know that. Yeah, blue tag. I'm a fucking noob at that shit. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Someone told me they have more information, like why they made this shirt. Uh-huh. But he never got back to me, sadly, so. So let me ask you guys all this, like, let's do this. Like, what's the craziest pickup you guys had, like, throughout this whole, like, uh, since you guys had your episode done on the podcast? I got, I got one. Okay. I'll grab one. Yeah, I'm with the fresh Valera. I didn't know it was going to be a show to tell. Fuck. I didn't, I don't have any teas on me right now. You know what? Um, we could just go to the page and we can see that. Hey, that's the cool one. It's so chopped. I, I'm gonna repair it, and make it to like an actual T-shirt. Not like you know how most of the time like they're cropped. Yeah, 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 yeah. They meant for me. I think that was only a crop T. Yeah, that's the thing. I want to make it to an actual T-shirt. Oh that's- yeah, yeah, that was yeah. I think it was only a crop T, according to what I've seen in Chronicle and stuff. I haven't ever seen anything else. The Terminator joint. I got this. This is a bin. This is a bin find. Ooh, awesome. Ooh, yeah. It fits like a glove too. Oh, that's sick. Is that a, is that a challenge court? 
Yeah, this one, like I, like, I love my tees battered as anything, man. So it actually fits as well. But it's, like, totally fucked. <laughs> but I love, like, for me, that kind of uh, makes it. But, yeah, I've been looking for this tee for, for ages and picked it up in the UK for a, a pretty decent price, actually. But for me, yeah, I've just... There's no way this, this these were going to fit me unless someone else has stretched them out, basically. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I... I... And what the crazy thing is, bro, I, I sold a lot of my shit. Yeah, I saw. I sold everything. I sold fucking everything, dog. I was like, yeah, man. I felt you were going to end up in like Bali finding yourself or something, like, in, like uh, meditating somewhere. I was going to go out like a spiritual, so much of that a spiritual retreat real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, I sold a lot of shit and I was just like, I don't know. Like, I was looking at it and I was just like, hmm kind of don't need that anymore and it wasn't like that i needed the money it was just like oh, i can't kind of don't wear it i'm not gonna have time to wear it so oh it always it's it, it like it's like everything you know that most of it's gonna go to decent homes and you're also like it's the same with me like a lot of sneakers i've sold recently i'm just like i'm just not wearing them i love them yeah. but unless i'm gonna display them or wear them i'll let them go mm-hmm. yeah i've been swimming down literally pretty much any all my bins of collecting from nike to rodman to literally everything slowly because this market and some of the t-shirts are, it's getting astronomical Dude, oh, like, let's talk about that because that's something that like me i was like i was kind of touching on it it's like bro these prices the way the the way the market is right now is so fun and it's so there, there like really is no market anymore like it's yeah. just it's just up in the air Right? I feel like it's because, you know, people are getting, like, the stimulus checks and stuff. <laughs> Money. And, you know, when I was, like, when I was a kid, I used to watch all, like, a lot of movie tees, like, Disney stuff, like, all that stuff right now is getting so expensive. Yeah. And people are like, oh, I love that movie. I have to have that shirt. And so it's just raising the value by so much. Uh, the Disney market is retail. Oh, crazy right now. It's so. My, uh, my, one of the dudes I know, I'm not sure if you guys follow him, Faded uh, AU, but he um, collects a lot of mask stuff. Oh. And mask stuff has gone like. He t- he t- I mean, I knew nothing about it because it's not a film that was particularly nostalgic for me, but like. Just crazy, like fifteen hundred dollars easy. Some of these masks. Bro. Yeah, I sold, I sold a mask tee for sixty five bones like last year, and I was getting, <laughs> I was getting some heat for even selling it for sixty five bones. But my friend, my friend bought it from Round Two, New York City, for forty bucks. Yeah, what? it's just insane. How literally, in the space of a couple of months, a category can just blow up. Yeah. Oh yeah. Are you gotta still- love love to hate it, but you know, hate it to love it. You know. I think it's more like uh, like it was done purposely because I know that a lot of the teas, like the Disney teas, were getting bought up and then being put like on you know certain like um, you know like on the virtual fee and stuff like that to get bid yeah. up because like that's where like the people who had the money to like not carelessly because it's their money like you know I can't tell them what to do with their money but. They got money. They're, they're the ones who are going to pay up in such a, a public setting, you know? Yeah. It's, almost, almost like, it's almost like a flex that's at that point. Not, it's like for the clout, you know? They're like, yeah. like hey, like, I can have <laughs> five grand on a fucking Aladdin key or some shit. Yeah, you could have bought a, a used car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true that. You could have got some new damn tires. On hey, the- but if you got, got $5,000 to spend on a t-shirt, hey. Power to you, man. It was six thousand. Six thousand, shit. Yeah, yeah. An extra, an extra thousand for Nike tees. Just huh. like what was, what was six thousand? It was an, a, an Aladdin tee. The genie Aladdin tee. Did you see that? I don't really know like anything really about what happened. I just saw like a repost and like everyone was just making memes and talking about um, it. So I, you know I didn't my, really read up on it. If you know my Instagram, his uh, Instagram is uh, the Heat Broker. He's been, he's like, star, I think he's like one of the first people that started this craze for all these, like, these, like, like uh, tees cartoon tees, uh, like Disney tees, kind of. Who bought it? Some no. random guy. Like, <laughs> did he pay? Like, yeah, you know what's crazy? Like, uh, 
Oh, but I was I went on his his what? profile, and then um, he he reposted like what one of the other uh, the person that sold it reposted. So it was Corbin, and he sent him the money, but then he added like an extra like three hundred on top, and I was like, what the fuck is this? Um, <laughs> I think that's for insurance. Maybe <laughs> I just sold it to you for that price around that price. And yeah, I had the guy pay like two hundred plus for insurance. For real? Yeah, because insurance. Posting, what? That's for the insurance on the posting. Yeah, yeah, because you know you want to put insurance on it because if the package gets lost, I mean that's six thousand yeah. dollars down the drain. Like, yeah. Uh, here, here it is. I I couldn't find his post about it. But... I think uh, you guys know. I think he changed his. He used to be Rebound Classics. He changed his yeah, name Nate, to yeah. Nate Tate. Yeah. Didn't he? Didn't he, he chop? Didn't he t- chop that T? He chopped it. I think I saw a picture of him that he, he chopped that one. I don't know. He lives. I, right I think it's still on his. It's still on his Instagram. So this, this is the guy that. This is the guy that. This is okay. So this is the homie five six six two vintage. He, he has he. This is the shirt. I just wanted to show you the shirt. This is the shirt that sold for six k. Oh my god. Oh, this isn't this isn't the kid that bought it. But yeah, no. This this is the guy that was like bidding, like kind of outbidding the other guy in the. In, you, want, you want to hear the story behind this though? Well, how he has this both these tees. Uh, yeah. So he was he was the one bidding against the guy that paid six thousand dollars for it. And then someone sent him a message like, hey, I have two of those tees. I think it was either two or one of that same tee. He was like, oh, how much do you want for it? He was like, 2000 So he bought that one for $2,000. Oh, my God. Yeah. But it's all about controlling, like, a market. That's why. Yeah. So that's why he did it, which is pretty crazy. But what would you say? Um, you said that he has a, there's a chopped tee of it, Nick? Yeah, I, I – if you pull up uh, Nate Tate, I think his Instagram is right. Nate, Nate something. I, I don't know. I don't know if it was like his T-shirt that Nate, he chopped, but he threw up like a chopped one and then like scroll, and there was like another T. I think it was like two, three, maybe like four weeks ago. I'm not sure. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, I'm actually from Dublin, where I was like I was born and raised, and I actually met Nate at a thrift store. And he was wearing like the all over print silver surfer shirt. I was like, yo, how much? He was like, oh, I know what this is. I was like, what's your Instagram? He's like, rebound classics. I was like, holy shit, like you're fucking huge on Instagram. And like, we're hella close now. And, like, he's a great guy. That's awesome. Okay. Are you from Ireland? Huh? No, no. Uh, Dublin, California. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> where, where, is, uh, where is that like to LA? Um, Like, Seven hours. It's near the bay. It's like he lives. Bay. He lives near San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, and then I live in like uh, Southern California. Southern. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. Like the that whole... is mental to me. That is just. I can't. I can't get over that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think half the half the vintage community can get over that. To be honest. Oh man! Shit. Like, I sold a two-pack T-shirt for 700 bucks here that I paid, like, 70 bucks for, and that still blew my mind. I made the guy pay a deposit because I, I just thought he was no way going to come through, and he did. And I'm sure now, like, uh, again, I... It's, six, it's about $600 now, those tees, those two-pack tees. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, it's it's like... It, and and it, But the thing is, for me, it wasn't... Like, he just wanted... It was on a top-heavy tag. Uh, and he had the same one, like, so the top heavy was the Made in Australia versions. Yeah. Um, and he had um, the US one, and he, like, as well. And basically, kind of the explanation that I got from him was that he just really wanted that version as well, which, again, if you're a collector of the two-pack tees, you're going to do that for that. But, mm-hmm. yeah, no, the money came through. I went straight to the bank, and, yeah, it's just just mental. But, like, I mean, that takes it to another level, like six mm-hmm. grand. Like, Jesus Christ. You could buy a lot of good stuff with six grand. Whoa, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could buy a damn whole new collection. Yeah, exactly. How, how do you how do you guys feel? This is affecting the Nike market. You think it's affecting it? Uh, I feel like the Nike. Yeah, you could go. Uh, oh, it's affecting the Rodman tees. Like, oh I, my god! I remember when those. I used to like see them on like 
Depop like a year or two ago. Maybe it was like two years ago, probably for like fifty bucks. Dude, I was. Them. I was selling them two, three years ago for so cheap. Yeah, and now they're like what four fifty. I've never had one before, but I know you guys like you guys have had a few probably. Some of them four fifty, but some I don't know. I'm just trying to work on like setting that market a little bit to yeah. where like it's steady prices because some of them just like it's not worth it. Like yeah. there's so many prints of that one. Yeah, but so, Nike one, it's getting a little high. Yeah, yeah, the a little Nike high. Talking about yeah, the Nike one. Yeah, four fifty to five hundred. Like I mean, when I've seen on those, it's like I saw someone uh, because I make a lot of my buying trips to Malaysia. I saw one of the dudes in Malaysia called the. Uh, it's not the Nike one, but I personally think one of the good Rodman ones, the Air Who one. Uh, ah, with, that like, one's great. The, Rod- Rodman doing the rebound and like the yeah the kind of like the sarcastic yeah, take. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Hey. I've actually... We were in Malaysia, and we like me and my man were in Malaysia, and um, at the time, it, like the Rodman tees hadn't come up that much, so they were asking. I think, like, I mean, it seems so cheap now. Like, what would that go for in the states? I'm going like depending on size, like two two fifty. Yeah, that's so what that's what I like to put it at. Buy it for like ninety. Um, so, and that was a little while ago. So we turned it down at that time, but probably shouldn't have done. But, um, like, yeah, it's just, it's, it's crazy with the, with the Rodman tees and like, um, how much that has increased. Like you guys say, like, since you used to sell them, I've never had one, but since you guys used to sell them, uh, probably what, like 60, 70 bucks at one point, maybe like, yeah, I was selling the bad as I want to be print on the motorcycle for like max 110. That's crazy. Yeah. Like that's, Max. That's like the iconic, like non Nike version of that tee. Like, yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's crazy. The guy's just saying I have a time limit. Huh? I think I have a time limit, so it might yeah. like make us jump out, but like we could just jump back in again. It says remaining meeting time, six minutes. and. Yeah, we'll see what it says because sometimes like it, it like it extends it or something. Yeah. yeah, so we'll see what's up. But damn, that's I know the mark's pretty crazy. I know, I know, like when I, d- I just remember to- turning down so many Nike Rodmans for like so low, like two, three years ago, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do, does anyone know who has like all the colors? Because I swear I see a new color come up every single time. Ask, ask, a, ask the homie Vu, bro. This week, I think everything. I have all of them. So I have a red one in jail right now. Is there five colors or is there six? You have that red one, Camille? Uh, it's coming in the mail. I, I haven't seen it yet. I don't even know if it's red. The guy didn't even specify what color it was. It looks is, it on that, is it on that fat tag? I think we were talking about that one time. I, I sent it to you. He, he had two. One was really sketch and the other one looked okay. So I was like. <laughs> I know Teletubby uh, Vintage posted that group photo of him. Yeah, there's a red one. There's a pink one. The orange, green, and the purple, I believe. And there might there's, be more, but there's I'm just not. really like no true information out there. There is not. Like honestly. I've I really spent hours. Yeah. Like yeah. not doing college homework, but that. <laughs> <laughs> is there a yellow version of one? I've or seen it on a crew neck. <laughs> pretty sure that's, that's, that's a bo- booty crew neck. Yeah. That's a bootleg. Huh. But that's a sick color. It is it's a yeah. really cool one. It's cool. Did they? I know they made that satin jacket um, in the orange, but that's pretty bootleg. Like, I don't even know. I don't know. I'm not like I love like Nike, but I'm, I like '90s like '90s like Nike stuff. But I won't like really like collect it. I don't know, unless it's something really rare or something. That's crazy. Yeah, the the hats too, Camille. You have all the colors in the hats, or just the orange? Uh, I just have. Well, I have two orange ones right now. Okay. Yeah. Some guy wanted to sell me the whole set, but was asking like, Astronomical. I think it was like $400 a hat. And I was like, I can't do it. That's crazy. Camille, I got a lot of DMs asking if those are for sale. When yeah. I post, when I post your photo. I had a it's bunch so of funny. Me too, like people that weren't even following me. And I was like, it's got to be from that repost. I'm just like, dude, can you please read? <laughs> it's all like we put yeah. so much information out for people to read and they don't read yeah. Dude, for real i've been feeling that too 
like when I repost someone, they'll be like, how much? And I'm like, I just don't even reply because like, like, I mean, I reply you kindly, like you're just like, you know, you're typing it because you're heated and like, you know, whatever, but <laughs> you know, kindly just please read. What's, what's, funny the, is what's that? the black market like out there? Because for me, I would have presumed that that might be the next market to really blow up after teas, like with people spending a lot of money on hats. But I don't know what's it what's it like out there. There's a few few here and there that, like, obviously collectively, as we all know, that kind of uh, are always pretty expensive. But do you, are you guys seeing a rise in the kind of more rare hats? For like Nike hats or just hats in general? Just in general, like yeah, Nike, I suppose specifically, but just in general, like is cap something that's people I, I, dude, hat, that's the hat game is crazy. People pay oh, crazy amount for like um, shark tooths and yeah. like yeah. shit like that. This yeah. uh, my my friend just or not my friend, but like some dude I know, but he sold the like a Laker shark tooth, but it was a double shark tooth. I think he sold it for like something stupid it was like oh i know it was over a grand for the hat. yeah but it's it's the double shark too it's not the, <laughs> just the one shark there's definitely still a huge market for snapbacks but i'd say to each his own even with, with, with us with, with nike and everything oh i just got this one in shit's fired i like that color one i know i mean like, this this one that i have like that you've got the tea on like that's one of the most popular ones that i see go but i still don't see many people spend over like 150 at, at the kind of you want to know how much i paid for my my corduroy air jordan hat i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it. <laughs> the 85 one All right, probably like 40 bucks no i fucking cashed out like i really wanted it and i i was getting in a bit of war with someone on ebay like the, the, the wings one 185 no, I paid more. Camille knows how much I paid for it. I, I can't even know. remember, but it was quite a bit. <laughs> Dude, I fucking just, I don't know, this guy, like, wanted to try to outbid me. And I was like, tell us then, come on, tell us how much. I think I paid, like, 300 Oh! Yeah. Hey, you made, you made somebody's night. I did. Fuck it. There's quite a few of those in Australia <laughs> as well. You should have hit me up. There's a lot what of 85 collectors. Ali, what the heck, man? <laughs> well, I didn't know until it was sat Did there in your collection and you already paid. I literally paid. took a gun and shot my foot. <laughs> Wait, isn't that the one your dog started eating? No. <laughs> that, was uh, a, anyway. that was just like the regular Nike, like, uh, corduroy hat. Yeah. You were pretty chill about your dog eating that hat, man. <laughs> <I'd have been> <laughs> <little>. <laughs> oh, yeah, it would have been tight. You know why... Cause I was able to still wear it, and it didn't look like fucked up. If like it was like not wearable, I'd be like, "Fuck, man! Like, I can't wear this shit no more." Yeah, like that's true. I'm just gonna show you guys this as well, like as you were saying about the accessories. I just brought this over. This was the latest pickup. That's um, sweet. For me, which was like the um, like now. So I now, as far as I'm aware, like going back to the whole. Rodman conversations. Well, as far as I'm aware, I have all of the. Nah, dude, I don't even. You pull, you pull the wildest stuff. Every time I open up your story, I'm like, man, I want all this shit. Yeah, so um, I know so many people that have like crazier to vintage shit than me. Like it's, I, I have nothing compared to some people. I mean, I'd say yeah. like this piece right here, the, this one I just got, the Pearl Harbor shirt. This I'm is sad. probably. Best I've seen in a long time of true vintage, like 40s true vintage Pearl Harbor shirt. That's insane. That's so cool. What's the market on that kind of stuff, bro? Cause... Oh, man. Uh, there, I don't know the market on this tea, like, specifically. Yeah. But um, I had a lot of people tell me to hit a museum up and see if they'd buy it from me. Because it just sets, like, a historic piece. But there's a huge market for true vintage in where I'm from, in California. I know a yeah. lot of people that do it. It's funny you say that, actually, because my, like, outside of the Nike thing, my other love is, like, real true Americana. So I have, like, another page, which I'll share with you later, called WCA underscore Heritage and Workwear. So I'm, I collect a lot of, um, well, I try to collect a lot of Big E, Levi stuff. And, um, oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love yeah, it. Man, I've, I've, um, oh, if you've got, do you know, um, uh, I can't remember his goddamn name now, Indiana. You know the show that you... 
Yeah. Uh, uh, Brit, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I bought my last pair of Big E off him. Oh, man, they're awesome. The, sm- the tiny ones. So the story behind these is these are actually my uncles that he wore in the 60s, in 64. Oh, shit. <laughs> these are actually 50s. These are 50s kid Levi's. That's crazy. He it's wore like, those. The, all these years. Yeah, Big E, Selvage, you know, single po- uh, single stitch pocket. Man. Awesome. Yeah. Man, I'll go, I'll go and grab my – I've got a pair of uh, 1949s. I've kind of worked it out. I'll go and grab them while we're – 49s? I think they are. So this is by my deliberation side at the time, was there? Yeah, because I know uh, Kamal, right? That's your name, Kamal? Camille, yeah. Yep, sorry. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, I'm just bad with names. I'm sorry. Uh, oh. I, 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 I got off Brit. Um, so they're, they're like really repaired, repaired and stuff yeah. like that. They're crazy. I love like, that from, so you know Heedles, the website Heedles? I think I'm saying it correctly. They do like uh, H E D D. ELS, they do like a rundown of um, the years for your Levi's, for your yeah. for different Levi's, and by and I've also got a pair of the um, 1947, oh. um, like the, the LBC one. Oh, so okay. I've compared the stuff, but from what I can deliberate, it's um, because I'm trying to think what it was that made them. So I was speaking to a guy that was there at the Britain, like the single stitch at the top. Okay. And um, there was a couple of other things on there that made me that they were definitely oh, okay. 1950 and below, apparently, because of I can't remember exactly what it was now. How much? Um, did you those? So there was the, the there was the okay. salvage on the okay. pocket made them made okay. them fifties. Yeah. But what I could, I think there was something else on there. Ah, that was it. That the was tab, it. the back tab. Yeah, so it's really hard to tell because it's been uh, ripped off uh, quite a bit. But the pre pre fifties, the back tab only had one that's side. One side. So yeah. that's why I can see, even though it's been ripped off, that that side doesn't have any writing and there's no like um, Levi's thing on there, yeah. whereas yeah, that side it, does. So that's the only thing. Is, yeah, most of them has pre fifties. That's what I'd say. You know, how much uh, yeah. are they worth those those pants? Uh, so I paid I paid Brit three fifty for these. Three fifty? Are you yeah. joking me? That's a fucking steal. Yeah, and, and I love them. Like I've had them repaired so many times. Like even there's another like there's another hole coming here because it's literally like wearing fucking paper. But I, yeah. I I feel like everything similar with my seventies waffles Nikes. Like I I wear them, and then when they're truly unwearable, then they'll go in a cabinet or a. It or, or or be displayed somewhere, but I'd like to get as much wear out of them. But yeah, that's all the all the repairs that have been done on them over it's the beautiful. years. I love like the original repair stuff. It's like oh amazing. man, it's like it's. So, I was so like he he. Depending on what on what day you get Brit depends on what type of Brit you get, and he will be like really accommodating or just be really aloof. <laughs> uh, and and that day he was kind of a bit like, look, just have a search round, man, and like. I had to try them on. Like he's he's just there at Ro- it was at Rose Bowl and he's just there wooing wooing the ladies. Like that all that's all he's doing is trying to speak to the girls. What a guy. And, and, and like man, he's 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 a hilarious guy, but I was like, his changing room is his is his fucking like R B that he's brought all the stuff in. So yeah. I'm like in the changing room, like surrounded by all these jeans, trying to at least try these on to see if they will fit. And um and yeah, like but it was it was a cool experience. Like that's one of the main reasons I literally, well, I was going to Rose Bowl anyway, but I tapped him up and said, are you going to be there this week? Because he's hardly ever there anymore. And he was like, yeah, I'm going to be there. And I was like, right, you better have some jeans for me because I'm ready to buy some. No, Grant, would you say, like, the, there's, like, mad people, like, trying to buy, like, the, the true vintage off you all the time? Like, oh, yeah. you, you oh, accumulated yeah. the, like, the buyers for it? Oh, yeah. Um, I, around here, I do a lot of, like, buyouts. You know, I don't sell my Nike stuff unless it's something I, like, I had. And then, like, oh, it's 90s. I don't really care. I'll just sell it. Yeah. But, um, like, for me, I have a lot of people that want my true vintage stuff. Mm-hmm. But it's hard for me to part with it because I, like, I don't know. I appreciate it so much. I, like, somehow like, these years it's still here and, like, in yeah. perfect condition. Like, 
I mean, like, I have a wall for, like, my 50s and 60s and 40s sweats, um, old T-shirts, souvenir jackets. It's, like, it's all over my room. Like, I really appreciate this stuff. Do you, follow, do you follow Vintage Collector 68? I think it is. He has a lot of um, – I'll send him you if you don't. Like, he's, he's got a lot of – he gets a lot of um, – old nike and adidas but he also buys a load of the old kind of like 30s 40s 50s crew neck so he's kind of got that true vintage and then sportswear stuff i wanted to show you this as well that i picked up um in uh, this was actually in malaysia i picked this up um but it's an old philippines um it's like uh, is it this guy so uh yeah, uh, yeah, that dude. Yeah, yeah. Vintage okay. Collector 78. We'll, we'll show him after you show the shirt. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I was just going to say this, like, I don't know I don't know exactly too much about it. It's on this tag here. That's a, good, that's a weird tag. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought, like, and it's 65% poly, 35% cotton. Hmm. But it looks, yeah, like it's single stitch. It looks like, as you would expect, the kind of yeah, but fading like to, to look like at that time. I don't know if it comes from like where, yeah, like it's from where. I don't know if it was pre eighties or whatever. But yeah, it's um. But some of the stuff that 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 guy's got on his page, incredible. Like yeah, I mean, this is probably one of my another favorite pickup I got. I actually been this. You know what oh, these? Wow, are. you got that recently? Yeah, I did. I got like yeah. probably like a week or two ago, probably. Man, nah, they're incredible. You know what these are called or no? Trousers. I've never, never seen them. So they're called uh, senior cords, and it was a it was a huge trend starting in uh, Indianapolis in like the fifties and sixties, and people that were graduating they would um, put stuff on these pants that like resembled what they were doing. Like you see, like oh no, I don't know, this one's like electrician pair because whoever wore these were like going to be a major in like electrician. And like there's like railroads, maybe it was like a train conductor. We don't know, um, but yeah, it, it was a huge trend in like the 50s and 60s. That, they're so cool. I swear that Double RL have done some pants. They have like an yeah. ode to it at some point. Yeah, they did. Um, but yeah, that's incredible. Actually, I might just grab one more thing while you got because I want you to help date this for me. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, no, I, I I'm pretty knowledgeable in. Most of the true vintage stuff. So if you guys ever have questions, are just for appraisals, bro. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I won't do that. No, unless it's something I want, then I'm like, oh, let me get it. <laughs> so this I picked up in. I don't. Again, I don't know. This I picked up in Australia in a. Um, okay. But it's, so it's like an old like. Baseball. I mean, I loved it mostly because I love the the wear spots on it. If you can see, yeah. them, and yeah, they're like see, the yeah. yellow wear spots. And that's the tag. Ooh. My guess is 50s. Is it? A yeah, tag? that's what I thought because of the cut as well. Yeah. Very short sleeves and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I did this one for 20 bucks. So like just as really as a display piece. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, like it's good to, it's good to know uh, other people like because there's not many people in Australia that really appreciate this stuff. Yeah. Because, um, they haven't been around very long, so so it's kind of um, so the Americana thing hasn't really got a, like a huge, and I probably like I, it's probably from like um, my dad and stuff that I got really into it because he was really into Ivy style and things like that. So oh, yeah. these are all my like coffee table books and stuff like that. I have like this, sure uh, one. yeah, I had this yeah, and if, and the, this one, if you I don't know if you have it, but this one's an awesome one, the one by Graham Marsh and Ivy oh, Ivy, and oh. that's a great book, but. Yeah, I buy like a lot of Aldens and stuff like that. So like and um, kind of the old school shoes and kind of then went into the stage of going to the Japanese reproduction stuff. And I love that. But then now I'm a bit like, I think that's come more with like collecting the vintage stuff. I'm a bit more like now I want the I want the true vintage stuff as good as some of those Japanese remakes are. And they are great. Yeah, um, not really I, I, you know, I appreciate <laughs> how, like, yeah. it, but like, I don't know. I'd rather have the true shit, you know? I don't yeah. want to be pro stuff. Yeah, so I don't know if you scroll down, Felipe. He de- he sometimes puts up kind of a load of, like, crew neck stuff, and it's, like, uh, of the 50s crew neck stuff. A lot of it, he's I, I, he must be loaded, man, because literally every three days he picks up, like, a new 
pair of um, like pretty much dead stock looking shit. Are these are these OGs? Right yeah, all of them. And literally, he has about three. Um, yeah, they're OG. Like he literally has about three posts a week of all this stuff. It's like a fun time. <laughs> Did you sell uh, uh, those dead stock? They were in the box, uh, Air Maxes. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, no, those weren't dead stock. Those were actually. Oh, they're not dead stock, no. I know they were crumbling a little bit. There's a, there's a, there's the a, there's a crew. Yeah, but they come with the box and the receipt. I have some guy who is uh, who's really interested in them. He's like, I think he's having a kid or something and he's going to buy it afterwards or something. I'm like, Cool, whatever. You know, I'm not really in a rush to sell it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you have some. Cool. He offered, I think, 3500 and I was like, cool, whenever you're ready, I'll take it. You know? Dude, I saw you put them up for like 20 Gs or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that, it's funny because I posted up for 20, 20 racks and this dude found him at the bins in Minnesota. I don't know if you guys saw that. No. And they were like the ones that were from like, like they're like the samples of the Air Max ones that were given out to like people like promotional ones. And he sold, they were like, they didn't have a box. They were my size eight and a half. And I was like, man, like how much are you asking for those? He's like, dude, I don't even. I was like 10,000. And I was like, I don't really know. Like I, I could offer you like two racks cause they were my size and I actually really liked them. Yeah. But he's like, I don't know. I'm just going to post it on, post it on eBay. And he posted them for 15,000 complex repost reposted it. And then a few days later, he contacted me saying that Nike actually bought them back from him for $10,000. Cause they're going to do. Yeah. And then he got in contact with one of like the Air Max designers and there's, they said that they're trying to get that air bubble, uh, the shape of the original Air Max, like the promotional one. Yeah. So hopefully there's a retro of like the the okay. one before the OG. That's It'd be awesome. awesome. Yeah. Like the air bubble is huge. It's like the big bubble one, but it's like even bigger than the air bubble one. It's just like huge. Did the who window. post it on their page? Who like found them? Did who post it? Like who the guy that found them? You know his page? What's his IG? Come here, I can pull it up. If I only remembered, man, hold up. Yeah, what was with that uh, <laughs> that Jordan one and that dunk bin find the other day? That was crazy. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, that I was. Spoke to him, man. Do you know how much he spent? Do you know how much I was, messaged him? Uh, Nine on the, yeah, that's fucking crazy. I was hyped to see. I wasn't even there, but I was hyped to see that. Yeah. I wouldn't know and what he, I would do. I would be shaking. Yeah, yeah. I, exactly. The same. I, I just wanted to know his reaction more than anything else. I was just like, I, wa I, I, wanted, wanna... I basically said to him, I wish I had lived through you seeing that. Oh, yeah. You know how they like to wheel the bins out and you can't touch them till like, you know, they yeah. did an announcement. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like, uh, how many people were standing around? <laughs> like... No, he said he found that he's, I think the picture is staged, but he said he found them underneath like some uh, outdoor furniture. It was in Pittsburgh. So he found them underneath some outdoor furniture, um, and like, yeah, it was. I was just like, "You've got 4K." Wow. There. Easy. That's Easy. Way more than 4K. Oh, way more than 4K. Uh, just for all of them, or I'd say probably up. probably 4K for just a, maybe just the Jordans, maybe even more. Yeah. Really? The dunks, bro. Like those dunks are expensive as shit. They're even straight laced. Yeah, the dunks are like 1500. Yeah. They are straight. They're straight laced. <laughs> Sick. That is nuts. Um, with the tag attack, I mean, I've got my 85s I've got with the box and the tag, but they're not DS. That's crazy. Damn. Never owned a pair, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that shit's crazy, the market. Yeah. And I actually got a fake pair of 85 Shadows today, actually. No, they're on the babe. floor right there. Show yeah, them. dude. Show them. What do you mean by like fake? Are they like the eighty-five bootlegs, or did someone make them recently? I think, honestly, I don't even know. Like, this is the box they came in. This is Mercedes. <laughs> <laughs> they shipped it in a shoebox like that. Yeah, that's what they shipped, it, and it what? came all the way from Europe and Denmark. Yeah, and they're they're just. I I, I asked a few people, and they all like. I look at them now and I see that they're wonky as hell. Yeah, the shape like, looks weird. 
the shit yeah like the shape and like the collar i've never seen one with like that oh, little man, that's such a shame. I hate, yeah no it looks and the stitching is yeah. hella off and just like man it's so soft too like i've never had I this much yeah, padding. No, like, I mean, my colors I'll, I'll grab i'll grab mine for you but like not, not it's just that but my colors are soft but they're flaky as fuck yeah, but these are just like new, and like the oh, biggest. Like, look, at the wing, <laughs> look at the wings. Wings logos. God damn. Yeah, fuck. They're like. Mm. They will have a pair besides me. Fuck. That's right. I mean, these are fake as well. So like. You have a you have a real pair, don't you? Oh, those are Camille. Those are pretty bad. Like these I'm not I'm not, not trying to be like disrespectful, but looking at them. Dude, I can't believe I bought these, man. I was sitting on the beach and I was like, ooh, shadows. And they were like 1.1K. And I was like, that's kind of a steal. He, he marked them as dead stock with no, with no box. And I was like, dude, 1.1K for a dead stock pair of 85 shadows? Like, why not? You know, and I didn't even like look over the photos. I just glanced at them. I was like, cool. You know, they look clean. I sent him the have money. You got, have you got them on PayPal? So you're all, you're all covered. Yeah, I think I, I think I'll be fine. You know, I opened the case today. We'll see what happens. I mean, like, dude, he might have you ship them back. But... Dude, I don't care. Like, I'll pay the return shipping back. That would do too. Uh... Oh yeah, that'll be like seventy bucks versus one thousand. Exactly. Let's late... talk about that guy, bro. That was on eBay, fucking just posting all that bullshit. Yeah. I mean, oh my gosh, dude! The uh, the other day, so it was the other day. It's probably like a month ago. There's some dude just like on eBay reposting all these like uh, 85s. I don't know if you guys seen those shits. And they were like, the guy was like uh, taking photos from other listings and yeah. posting them. And it was funny because like people were buying them, and then all his reviews were just like fucking scammer. Fucking. Dude. I bought 10 pairs of those and I was leaving those reviews. Dude, it was you? Yeah, I was buying all of them. I just sent offers and he kept accepting and I just yeah. kept negative reviews. And then eBay was flagging my ass for not for, I got so many strikes. I was like, dude, they're about to take me down because I'm not paying for all this stuff. I just bought it to leave the review. You know what, you know what he told me in the, the message? Because I offered him and then he, rep he accepted it and then he's like, Please play. Please pay immediately. Like so, you can just get the money. Yeah, that's never good. <laughs> He's going on holiday with everyone's money till he has to like uh, think about it uh, later on. These are the I mean, these the, are the eighty fives that I've got. The, yours are yours are probably the cleanest. Like that's the that's the box as yeah. well. Wow, that's crazy. Are they your size? Yeah, yeah, I wear them still, man. And then there's the. I would never wear that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I used to wear 85s, like, I remember on you a day. Didn't you? What was that? Didn't you, like, break a pair once or something? Because I remember you. Yeah, I, them, I yeah. broke two pairs, you know, because I used to wear them every day. And then, like, the soles just, just shatter, you know, like, they're not. Yeah, I hardly. I don't wear them very often. I mean, that's the thing. Like, they're. They are super. Like, they're still in pretty good like nick and, stuff like this. and i i paid like i think 1300 euros i think i paid um what's so, that US dollars. i mean us probably about like 1700 no no 1500 i think it was i think it was 1500 us that's pretty good right now With, i mean people have said the box is worth like 800 it's worth the box is worth uh, the box alone is worth like a rack <laughs> yeah yeah he's now i reckon because that was like three years ago when i got them four years ago so now yeah you're right i think it's worth that yeah but i love this as well i got this through from um rn marley uh, on instagram who sent me when he like just one of my favorite things man i just love that kind of just like those little things that you get but like just those authorized dealer stuff and he's, he's cool. had some crazy stuff like the lights and the and the 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 kind of perspex rack stuff jesus and like even those are going for like five or six k now the and then uh, fucking complex posted Lil yachty's video shit got more hyped probably <laughs> did you see yeah. that 
where like um, they were showing Lil Yachty's like collection. It was probably like yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he bought stuff from me. So, oh um, my. Oh really? Went to round two. Yeah, and uh, I was selling to Sean, and I regret selling some stuff. To, I sold him two Ozzy Osbourne like test print from '81 shirts. I reg- I sold them for 150. They're probably worth like a thousand plus easily, and. Ah. We were just selling to him, and then all of a sudden, like, everyone gets kicked out of the store. We're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> he just came in and started buying stuff from us. And he bought, like, a few, like, Nike jackets and, like, some sweaters. And then, like, a month or two later, um, he went to the MTV Movie Awards, and he wore something that he bought from my brother. Shit. And- they started making reprints of that sweater and no one knows there was like a back hit on it and no one knows about it because there's no pictures of him showing the back. That's awesome. Yeah. That's insane. That's, That's like, wild. And yeah. insane that they started making reprints and didn't actually know the full like yeah. view of the jumper. It, yeah. was like, it was like a Native American shirt and it's like a face and it says, we came before Columbus. And there's like on the back of it, there's like some quotes and stuff. But yeah, that's sick. What shoes were you about to sh- uh, about to show? I love. This is like my oldest shoes, like my probably my oldest Nike piece. Uh, oh, Seventy four, Nike Canada Quick Fours. You know oh, that's that. amazing. Yeah, these are like the track shoes. That's actually, so I actually good. got them from Alameda for ten dollars. What's well, a it's a flea market around here. So where is the? Ah, I don't. I would never. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I, I just. You know they're my size are huge. These are like eleven at least. And oh, my size. <laughs> yeah, I'm eleven too. And I, yeah. I, I don't know. I would never wear shoes like this. You know, I. No, and to be, it's funny how the track shoes don't go for as obviously don't go for as much, but some of the track shoes are just like the mo- the most amazing display pieces. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's that's like on this wall back here. <laughs> yeah. Dude, those just look like they'll demolish your feet. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, man, you could walk more than like two minutes in those. Yeah. What are those, G? Are are those the Domino shoes? Oh shit, we can't hear you, G. We can't hear you, my guy. <laughs> so, so it's not the computer. No, I'm just kidding. I can hear you guys. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. Good? Yeah. I don't, I don't really know. No one, everyone that I've talked to never, never seen that. It's some, oh, they said something, maybe uh, an Olympic pair or something, but I thrifted these three years ago. Fucking Are those, out, of that, uh, out of unique uh, 80s. 80? 80, 80 Man, they're, lo- they're nice. They're dead sock. Maybe it's like a team. Wow. Oh, our size. Go on, all sides. <laughs> wow, that, those are beautiful. I thought those were the Domino ones that uh, Vintage Cheat Way have. Yeah, so that's what I thought when I because I saw this in the bin and I was like, shit. Like, no way. <laughs> Either way, like, they're so nice. Yeah, they are. They are crispy. Yeah, those are just beautiful like display pieces. Like I wouldn't wear them. That's I'd... why I never got rid of them. I mean, I'll, a couple of people hit me up to buy them, but I was never in. I, I like looking at them. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean that's the thing. I wear I still wear some of my seventies and some of them like actually you can still kind of wear them when they crack at the bottom for a bit. Yeah, but can, um can. but um but not an original box, do. but Oh you got the box? No, this is a typhoon box, but my uncle oh. gave it, my uncle gave this to me. So it's actually his birthday today, so Happy birthday, Uncle. <laughs> he's the he's the man. Okay, this is one of my favorite things as well, like actually I can't see like the um these are like the seventies pins that they did. Those are pretty sick. Uh, In the package. Uh, yeah. And like the old laces that they did as well. Wow. See, There's a guy gonna... that I was there was a guy that followed that. so basically I used to have a lot of like um the frisbees and stuff like that. And he just tapped me up and he was like um and he was from Japan and he was he basically must have found a dealer where they had like a load of this stuff. Cause he had a lot of it um, and he was like, look, I'm just into trades. And he was like, I don't like care about the value versus versus like the value. Like I just want to trade stuff up. So we just traded up. He gave me like 70 stickers, 70s laces, um, the water, 
water uh, holder and stuff. And like I was giving him like Frisbee, some old like blow up American football kind of like promo bits that they'd done. But it, for me, being like super into the 70s stuff, it was awesome. And those like I've been after these for so long because they're like they're in Chronicles and like yeah. just I think somewhat the last time I saw someone put them up on eBay, they put them up for like 350 bucks. And I was like, geez, I can't afford yeah. that. Hmm. Yeah, this is like my only dead stock pair of shoes. And the story behind these are so funny. But uh, I got this from my buddy. Have you heard of these before? The I think they're called the Penetrators. <laughs> That's a great name. No, I... I... <laughs> <laughs> the Ni- the Ni- Nike Penetrators. Yeah, so... Uh, that'll those those that'll gotta come back. back. Like, Some yeah. name, bro. The Penetrator <laughs> Fours. They look, like the Wimb- they look like the Wimbledons, basically, a bit. They do, yeah. They look like the OG ones. You know, I think you, know, you probably know what I'm talking about. The Ab Get Penetrated by Nike. But the thing was, <laughs> like... My friend, he was at Buffalo Exchange. You guys know what that is or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I so don't. <laughs> it's like a um, consigner store. So, like, you go in, you sell them clothing. They say, okay, we're going to price it at $16. We'll give you four bucks for it. And you're like, okay. It's really, it's really good. Yeah. He was selling there, and this homeless man walks in with this. Just, just a box, right, with the shoes in it. No top to it. There's no top, right? And he, they were like, oh, we, we don't want you in here. Like, he was, like, cursing everyone out. He was like, fuck you guys. And my buddy saw him had those in his hand. He was like, yo, give me those for, like, 10 bucks. He was like, okay. And so then he sold them to me for, like, 60 bucks. And the thing was, the weird thing about them, I think this shoe was made in 85. But for some reason, it says 83 on the inside. Like, there's not another pair online that says 83. Hmm. I wonder if it's a sample then from like. Uh, oh, no, yeah, it could be a sample. I sent them to Nike to teach other shit, and he was like, "I have no clue, my guy. Like, I'm confused as well." I was like, okay. "Are they like? Are they like a? Um, what's the finish on them? Is it like a really shiny leather?" Yeah, yeah, it's really. It, have, it has all the stars still. I keep Yeah. Is there info online at all? No. I'm looking at pictures. And, uh, There's the only ones online. There's high tops of these two, but they're all 85. You won't yeah. find a single 83 pair. Felipe, you're gonna search Nike Penetrator and yeah, <laughs> yeah, direct you to the wrong. You might get banned. You might get banned. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that, I see the shoes right here. I mean, they go for a good amount, dead stock, but mine doesn't have the top within. The box is kind of getting fucked now, too. But it's something I don't want to, like, I don't collect, like, that stuff. So that's something I'd probably sell, you know? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's super cool. Yeah. Good, sto- good story? Yeah, it's a good story. Uh, <laughs> I like conversation. Oh, you got the Kenya piece. Wow. Yeah, like, this was, um, this was in Australia on Depop. Um, so, yeah, I but, love Depop. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my god, man! Some of the shit that I found on there, I've been like, oh my god, it's like yeah. crazy. Like, yeah. I mean, th- like this, this was so like not expensive, and just like the quality of it was just unbelievable. I got this one, Depop. I have all three. I have three of these now. Oh my god, that's awesome! Yeah, it's the Made in Italy tag. Eighties. That's so cool. You've got three of those. Yeah, they're all different colors. So I think there's five colors of this, like, different, like, because it says Nike the colors, and it gives, like, a little detail, like, of the colors. But that, I've, I've never like, seen that. I swear I've never seen that. My creature mm-hmm. one's on there. I have a test print one, which is crazy. That's so Did cool. All three of them from the same person? So the thing was, I got two of them from one one person, right? Yeah. And then it was, like, a day later, I was like, oh, I need, like, to find more of these. So I went on Depop, and someone had one, and it says, I need, I need to go get it, but it's a different color too. And it says the, 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 the Divine Guido, which is a book from like the 1800s or something. But uh, that looks like a museum like promo. Like if they had like a, that would be like an art gallery, like yeah. on, and then like Nike probably like sponsored it. That, that could be true. I don't know. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like an iron on, but it was an actual like screen printing, which is. Just crazy. That's amazing. Yeah, I, I need to go get it now because I think I should. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to. 
Guys, we have seven more minutes. I think once the time ends, we're just going to cut it because, like, we got, we got a good amount of content in. So, this is dope. Appreciate you guys, you guys coming on, man. Like, yeah, hell yeah. I mean, I'm getting tired. It's 11 16 over here. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, I'm Friday night, bro. I'm about to yeah, I'm about to brush my teeth, hop in bed, and wake up and start <laughs> going go, go picking in the morning. I love that. Probably picking is much more important than apart from Felipe, who's hungover as fuck. But much more important <laughs> than uh, than, get, than like drinking or anything now. Oh yeah, hell yeah, of course. What time is it in Australia right now? It is quarter past one in the afternoon. How's oh, okay. it? Uh, how's it been since like uh, the the whole virus thing? Oh man, it's like it, it was like we were hoarding ourselves as one of like the most amazing countries ever, and it's like everything because we had like jack shit cases, no deaths, and now it's like we're like one of the worst possible hit in the last few months. Like tomorrow, there's a um, news conference basically tells us where we're at for the next um, few weeks. And everyone's kind of speculating whether it's going to be like three, uh, uh, stage three point five or continuing stage four. But man, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty boring. Like I just, that's the thing. Like even, even though thrifting is really few and far between here, it's just like even to be like miss just even going out and like knowing that I'm going to find nothing. Like even just the, like knowing that I can go and walk out at least and go and have a try. Yeah, it's it's pretty tedious, bro. Were you on lockdown at any times yet, or no? Yeah, we're on lockdown at the moment, so we're like curfew oh, okay. eight pm. Uh, like um, we're what like five kilometers and to the supermarket only. It's um, it's pretty crazy. I hope you get, hope you and your family are staying safe, man. Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's it's all good. Like everyone's okay. It's just like getting like trying to process through it and getting getting through it really is the, the main thing. Crazy time, crazy time. Yep. Here's that shirt. Right. We're gonna we're gonna close it when the time goes like closer. But that's, that's show the piece, bro. Yeah, show it, show it. Let's... Oh man. Hold up. Let me pin it. There it is. I think I posted it on my page if you want to go look through it. Okay. I got to go through right here. Such a good like that's such a good little collection. Thank you. Those, are, those are sweet. I want them. I know you did. I know you do. <laughs> I had so many people, like so many people want those tees, but to me, like those are like one of ones to me. Like you won't find, it, there might be another one on the market, but like, I love like that one of one Nike. Like that's what I collect. They're all in that blue tag. Yeah. Uh, made in Italy. All of them. That's sweet. Find it on your page. How far back is it? Uh, pre COVID, not pre COVID, uh, middle of COVID. Let's see. <laughs> this is probably the only this is probably the only thing that I have that kind of like I don't see very often. Yeah, I saw you post that and I was yeah. like, holy shit. Like like full full I think it's dead stock as well. So like when I when I posted it, this is like yeah. a made in the UK. Yeah. But when I posted it, I found some pictures of like the people who were like helpers of the Commonwealth Games that year were yeah. wearing it. But like yeah, the the, the tracksuit pants and everything there, wow, and it's like so man. Wow, that is sick. Wow. Yeah, I was like, couldn't believe, and that was like seventy bucks off Depop. <laughs> Good old Depop wow. again. Same colors, basically. Yeah, that's Ooh. insane, man. Is that an Athletics West? Yeah, my buddy in sack pulled. Oh shit! My bad. Yo, and the pants. Yeah, fuck. Hey, my bad. I muted you. How do I unmute you, G? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, unmute yourself. Well, Felipe, Felipe didn't like that. He's muted. My bad, my bad. <laughs> You're good. You're I was good. trying to pin the video on you. That's why. Wow. Yeah, the pants have it on. Sick. The red and blue is just like. So good. Crazy, yeah. I have I've some got... stuff I need to post. It's just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got the same one in blue. Also, Felipe, you remember how you tossed me the, the entire tracksuit? Uh -huh. I got that one, and I got another one, which is like the, the jacket and the pants, but it's in blue. I yeah. had the shirt, the, the 70s one, because the, you posted like the hoodie, I think. It, do you have a hoodie of the Athletic West? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you had the sweatshirt. I actually got the shirt from a buddy, um, 
And yeah, I had the, the with the front and back print on it, the Heather Gray. It's beautiful. So good. It's Did so you see the guy that uh, on eBay a couple of months ago posted up some of the really yeah. Yeah. old seventy stuff, which were the like champion tags, yeah. Oh. Yeah, champion tags and then the the jacket that I that jacket would have fit yeah, me as well, man, like the rain jacket. And yep. was a, like I think it was a property of one of the old um, Athletic West runners, but it yeah. went for eight hundred US, and I just couldn't at that time afford it. He, like it was just... he told me where he got it from, and he said that um, it was like his friend's dad, I think it was, and he was like a track runner, and he was like, "Oh, like you have vintage stuff. Let me see." And he like it was all in this box. He said, and he pulled it all out for him, and yeah. Hey guys, so we got less than a minute. So we're gonna Damn. pretty much end it here. So I hope everyone is has enjoyed this episode. Just a little talk episode, you know, with yeah. most of the people that have been on the podcast. If you guys want to check out any of these uh, guys' pages, they're gonna be in the link in the description. So go check it out. I also put all their names on the video, so it's gonna be right there in the corner. So go to their Instagrams. Um, look at this guy showing his uh, Chicago. <laughs> crew neck but thank you guys i appreciate all you guys man we should do this soon again oh 100 man that was oh, awesome. yeah down the t-shirt idea the t-shirt t-shirt battle idea mm -hmm. that should be funny man, all I, <laughs> yeah, I feel like i'm never gonna win now <laughs> <laughs> well, you should though so i hope you guys are doing good man um stay safe stay out there uh peace stay out safe y'all you peace like out. You like Good to see you guys. Take care, man. Leave a like. Leave a like on the video, and I'll see you guys. Peace. Peace. See you, bro. Thanks for organizing. Mm -hmm. Peace.